As with any good design, we start with some clear objectives. For this project, we desire to create a productive garden and flourishing educational and community space, develop a strategy for stormwater management, design a road for fire truck access, and consider the reuse of outflow from our future wastewater treatment plant. According to P.A. Yeoman's scale of permanence, we see that water is the first thing after land shape and climate that needs to be considered. Where does the water flow? Studying existing topographical maps and using maps made using Google Earth and Google SketchUp, we can create water overlays. And by observing water flow during the big events, we can try to orient our garden in a way that is most harmonious with the water flowing through it. We can even utilize the outflow from our future wastewater treatment plant by meandering it through swales on contour through the lower section of our garden. These swales would allow the water to infiltrate the ground and irrigate a multi-layered food forest. After water, we design for access. After we have designed for access, we can design for buildings and structures. We did this using movable cutouts to optimally design our community space for people and events, such as our annual Camp Sunrise Talent Show. Detailed crop plans proceed each planting season, and the building of soil and garden beds is an ongoing activity. There is no limit to the level we can take the science of permaculture design at Sunrise Ranch. With an acute awareness of our slope and contour, specifically key points and key lines which indicate optimal points on a landscape for trapping water, we can identify the best places to trap and store water on our land, making it drought resistant and lush. And with the right use of check dams, Sunrise Ranch could be a mo model for broad scale applied permaculture design. To make such an ambitious design feasible, we would need the help of other permaculture designers such as Gl Joel Glansberg and Jason Gerhardt, Gaia University associates such as Ethan Rowland. Private companies who specialize in these sort of designs, such as Natural Systems International and Regenerous, Regenesis. And what better way to involve the greater community and to ensure that the educational value of a project such as this is fully appreciated than to involve a public research institute, such as Colorado State University.